I'm telling you, I just can't find this audio file. Um, where was the last place you put it? It should be in the save file, but it's not there. Uh, hey, Cheeto. What's up? We can't find the audio. Now did you... you li hey, Francisco. Mm -hmm. We can't find the audio file. What audio file? You know, the audio file. The audio file? Yeah. Mr. Clark! Sweet. We gotta figure this out on our own. So what are we gonna do? Oh, well, I think there's only one thing we can do. You don't mean... Oh, I mean... Welcome back, Sabres. I'm Angie. It's been a while. This is our first episode of our 11th season, and we'll catch you up on Homecoming. I'm Kate. We also have Girls Golf and a very special video by Cheeto in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month. Sabre Girls Golf just finished up a successful season with the Sabre golfer Mallory Schwartz finishing just a couple strokes short of going to state. Coach Johnson credits the team's success to their work off the course. The girls do a much better job of gelling as a team. They hang out with each other a little bit more, some off the course activities, bonding is uh, something that I definitely give them a lot more credit than. Sabre Girls Golf has had an incredible season this year with Varsity taking third in the WIAA sectionals and the two JV teams placing first and second in the JV conference. Not to mention Franklin golfer Mallory Swartz was two strokes away from state this year, but that's not stopping her. Mallory's taking her golf game to college next year at Bowling Green State University in Ohio. I'm going to that college because they have a strong Division I golf program in the MAC conference and they have my major of forensic science. Next year looks promising with upcoming juniors Sophie Hoffman and Claire Fugate. Make sure to follow at Sabre Girls Golf on Twitter for updates for next year's season. This year's homecoming week was one to remember with new events for students to enjoy. We started off this year's homecoming week with our spirit days. Our students and staff dressed up as everything from black and gold to boomers to show off their school spirit. This year's pep rally is full of surprises, the first of which being the Sabre Roar's goal at the moment. More on that later. We announced our homecoming court with Angie Carchisi and Siddhartha Punaidi being crowned king and queen. We then had a performance by junior Jalen Smith and finished it off with our first ever teacher student volleyball game. This last minute addition was the result of the weather forcing us inside, but was entertaining nonetheless with the seniors ending up with a victory. The rain didn't stop our homecoming parade, but forced the new Sabre tailgate event inside. The Sabre tailgate event lets students hang out and grab a bite to eat with their friends before going to the homecoming football game. The high school experience is always maximized when students feel connected to uh, the school, they feel connected to each other, they feel connected to the staff. And um, if it takes you know, a couple of cookies and some hot dogs to do that, uh, then that's outstanding. And, and that's our goal, is to really bring us closer together and, and have some unity here at Franklin High School. This year for the homecoming football game, our football team faced off against Kenosha Bradford, crushing them in a 37-0 match, despite the bad weather. The homecoming dance was another great success, with this year's theme being space. I think homecoming was great this year. It was so much fun. Yeah, I think it was a lot of fun. Yeah. I really liked the theme and the decorations. I think they were really good and they were really well put together. And I just like having fun with my friends. Congrats to our Sabre Roar Homecoming Court members, Cheeto, Kate, and our Homecoming Queen, Angie Carchese. Oh, thank you. It was fun, but I'm not letting it get to my head or anything. During this year's Homecoming pep rally, we brought back an old Sabre Roar segment called The Golden Moment. After a five-year hiatus, we are back giving away a giant frosted cookie. Here are some highlights.
Are you going to share the cookie or just keep it all yourself? No, I'll share it. Share it? Alright. Make sure you all tune into the upcoming Save for Royce for the next Golden Moment winner and more opportunities to win Save for Royce t shirts. Alright, I'll catch y'all later. Although it took a little longer to find the cookie, we hope that Drew enjoyed it and that each person that caught a Saber Roar Superfan shirt reps the Saber Roar with pride. Oh yeah, those Saber Roar Superfan shirts are on point. Yeah, I heard they're comfy and super soft. What do they look like? So glad you asked. The Saber Roar Superfan shirt is a sleek, comfortable, and limited edition shirt that can be worn on any occasion. Have you ever been uncomfortable while working undercover? Well, now you can be. Have you ever wanted to wear a fun outfit to a party and something was missing? No problem. Saber Roar Super Fan Shirts are perfect for spirit days so you can show your Saber pride. This shirt works for every type of occasion. You're not going to want to miss out on this one. Watch the Saber Roar for your opportunity to win a Saber Roar Super Fan Shirt. Wow, these shirts look amazing. I can't wait to rock mine on Spirit Days. Stay tuned to the Saber Roar in upcoming weeks to see how you can win one. It is the end of Hispanic Heritage Month, but we didn't want to let it get away without giving it its proper recognition. Cheeto, Senor Mac, and Senora Reyes collabed on this fire rap. Hispanic Heritage Month. Yeah, you already know that we are tons. So many Latinos, yeah, you would be stunned. You would be stunned. 58 million of us in this country alone. Really? Yeah, I think that this month should be flipping well now. Costa Rica, Nicaragua, El Salvador. And there's so much more. 22 countries in the world, we strong. A shared history that goes centuries long. A passion runs deep, you can see it in the street. Daddy Yankee, Bad Bunny, Lin Manuel on the beat. To the athletes that you cheer and jeer. Arsenio, Pina, Igrando, balling out here. You see them every day, playing all the way. Cause the sacrifices, Caso y Bayan made. Nuestra gente es tu gente, nuestro futuro es tu futuro. Juntos lograremos, what more can I say? Nuestra cultura es tu cultura, nuestra gente es tu gente. Celebramos todo lo bueno, levántate. Wasn't it good? I love the teacher's part, but Cheeto... Hey, come on, man. I'm really trying. Cheeto, we're recording. We can talk about this later. Anyways. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter at the Saber Roar to stay up to date with all things Saber Roar. Thanks for watching, Franklin. We'll see you next time.